Using a massage gun on your feet can feel amazing, especially if you've been on your feet all day. And it's really helpful for things like plantar fasciitis, but there's some definite no-nos that you should be aware of. So here's how to use a massage gun on your feet, both effectively and safely. The feet can be really sensitive and they have a lot of prominent bones, so I recommend only using the foam ball tip, not the hard tips on your massager. My personal recommendations is half the maximum speed, using the massager for one minute the first day, seeing how you go, and then a maximum of two minutes each foot any day after that, and stop if it hurts. Start off in the arch of your foot. Go from the front of your heel to the back of the balls of the feet, sticking to the arched area. This relaxes muscles that cross the arch, but is also great for increasing the blood supply to the plantar fascia to help it heal. Keep your foot in a relaxed, neutral position. I don't recommend pulling the toes back as this exposes too many bones. Don't go onto the sides of the feet, especially below or behind the ankle bones, because the posterior tibial nerve runs through that area on the inside and the sural nerve on the outside, and they can be irritated by the massager. Next you can do the heel, but the heel pad can be bruised by percussion, so if you do this area, only do it with the side of the foam ball. It can feel quite nice to do the toes in this part too, the metatarsal heads as they're called. But the joints here can become easily inflamed and irritated, something we call metatarsalgia. So to do this area, here's a little trick. Cut the back of your foot behind the toes to push the toes forward and to reduce the prominence of the bones in the area. You don't need to use the side of the foam ball, only press very gently here with the massager and stick to 20 seconds maximum in this zone. Avoid the ball of the big toe completely. If you have plantar fasciitis, you can use the massager on your feet before getting out of bed each day. But on the first day, only use the massager for 30 seconds in that arch area and see how you go the next day before doing more. You see, if the plantar fascia is really inflamed and you do too much, you can increase the inflammation a bit. Calf tightness is a huge factor for plantar fasciitis, so people with this condition can do an extra minute on the Achilles and the calf muscle. But this area can be sensitive too, so again I'd recommend using the ball on the side here too. Just remember to avoid the areas with exposed nerves between the Achilles and the ankle bones, and avoid the top section of the calf because there are some major blood vessels and nerves in that area too. Now it's quite common to have a nice little tingling sensation in your feet for a couple of minutes after using the massager. Any more than that probably indicates you did a little bit too much. Now if you have plantar fasciitis and you want to learn more about how to treat it, I have a video on that, so I'll leave a link in the description box below. But that's it. Hope you liked the video. Have fun.